Hey, it's Amethyst Virgo. This video is pick a card, what to be grateful for, what to appreciate in your life. I figured this was good timing because Thanksgiving was yesterday and, you know, the holiday season is not done yet. So I'm going to use the Spellcaster's Tarot deck and I'm also using the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle deck. Okay. All right. So in the, on the thumbnail, there were the, the cards were laid out. So pick which one stands out to you or just read the description box below to pick an anchor card or watch the whole video and see what resonates. All right, so the first one, this is gonna be a quick reading just because it is just a two card reading. Okay, just to just to give that disclaimer. All right, so the first one, if you pick this, the High Priestess card, what you should be thankful for to appreciate is that you've probably made some better decisions recently or within the past year. The High Priestess card is, you know, she's intuitive. She knows things without even, you know, having the facts. As you can see, you know, she kind of, you see her face, she doesn't have a face. So she can't even actually see this. So it's not, she's not dealing with facts, she's dealing with her own feelings and intuition. And so you've made some better decisions lately. That probably is going to lead to, has led to some better, you know, outcomes comes in your life and the oracle card with that is change your focus again because you relied on your intuition you made some a bet a really good decision that probably you know now looking back you can see you know why you were in a certain predicament because you weren't using your intuition you knew a situation wasn't good for you you knew that something wasn't the right move and you changed your focus all right so the next card set the anchor card for it was page of cups when you see the page of cups you know usually deals with friendship it deals with like light-hearted relationships with other people and so you should be grateful for is a new friend or a social you know a social circle someone that is there for you someone that you have fun with this person might have helped you through a difficult time or they just simply are there for you when you need them the card that deals with the, uh, that the oracle card to match is daydreams and decisions i thought that was interesting because daydreams when i hear that it's not too far from this idea of page of cups it's very light-hearted fun flirty type of energy okay so you should be thankful for is this new friend who's maybe put you on a you know maybe encouraged you inspired you in some way and it has changed your life in a more positive way now we have the justice card so if you pick this you should be thankful for you're out of a bad situation that could have you know made your life more difficult we see justice cards sometimes we're dealing with legal issues we're dealing with decisions where we're waiting for other people to make a decision and so this could have been something legal or something work related or something where you're kind of trying to wait for somebody else to make a decision and it's you know now the situation is over you're free to move on okay and so you should be thankful for the fact that whatever the situation that was weighing on you where you weren't sure what way to go or you weren't sure the way that you know the decision would go it's now over you know you now can move on to whatever it is that you need you know this could indicate anybody this can be somebody who's waiting like I said something legal um, this could be somebody who was waiting on you know, um, finishing up their, their education and training or something, or maybe you had some difficulties along the way, and now a decision was rendered that's going to put you on the right path. Okay. Next, we have the devil card. So when you see the devil card, obviously you might say, like, how can someone be appreciative of that? Like, what does that mean? What this card is really actually saying in this particular reading is that you should be thankful for the fact that... I'm sorry. My alarm, I didn't turn my alarm on. <laughs> you should be thankful for the fact that you something has been uncovered. You don't have to you you were in the dark maybe for a period of time. You didn't you didn't really see what something really was for you know the situation it was. And you know, maybe other people were manipulating you or other people kind of had you by a leash or other people kind of were tainting your, you know, your perspective on something and now you kind of your eyes are open, you know what it is. The Oracle card that matches with that is coming together. All the pieces are now coming together for you. And now you don't have to deal with that situation anymore. You now know what things are in your own, from your own perspective, your own insight. No one is no, no one is um, manipulating. No one is controlling you anymore. The devil card also can deal with control and issues of that type, those type of things. So no one is controlling you anymore. You're out of the bad situation. If you look back in hindsight, you now can see how your life has probably improved because you now know what something is for real. The mask has been taken off. You're no longer being tricked or deceived by um, someone or some people. All right, next we have the Emperor card, Achievement. So if you pick this Anchor card, most likely there's something in your life that you should be very, very proud of. And when we see this card, this usually means something that others can see as well. This isn't really an internal situation. This is more so you worked very hard or you did something grand or something, you know, very respectful 
respectable or something that just stood out to everyone else and we have the emperor the emperor is seen the emperor is noticed the emperor gets a lot of power or the emperor is just very well respected and so the interesting thing is the card that came up with this oracle card was believe and succeed you know this was not a super easy thing mentally on you it was very taxing you had to like your your faith was probably you know tested many times but now you have you know if you look back at your life and look back at what's happened maybe within the past year you should see that there is a way that you have since had some type of achievement sometimes it's good to look back because we get so ca caught up in everyday life we forget how far we've come the three of wands sorrow you know there was a point in time when maybe you were very sad depressed there was a particular situation that was weighing on you mentally and it's very hard for you to move on. We see with this particular deck, this is a heart right here, and the heart is being stabbed. So there, obviously this card is also linked to healing. And so you should be appreciative of the fact that now you have more control than you did before. You know, you should be appreciative of that. Whatever the situation was, it was very serious. It was something that really made you, you know, question a lot of things. You were It was weighing on you probably every day. And now you should appreciate the fact that for the most part, you've gotten more control of your life back. You've gotten, you know, your your mindset is a lot more positive than it was in that particular time. Ten of Wands. Okay, guys. So those who pick this, you're working very, very hard on something. Like, really hard to the point where it's almost oppressive. Okay? You see this card. Look at him. He's trying to carry all those wands. It is very difficult. He can barely even see where he's going. But the card that matches with this is simply love. And so what this is basically saying is whatever the situation is that you're working very, very hard on, it is worth it. It is something that is that is something that might include a passion that you have. This is something that is going to multiply. This is something that's going to lead to you feeling more happy. And so you should be appreciative of the opportunity that is in front of you to work this hard or this opportunity in front of you that, yes, you have to do all these different things, but it will be worth it in the end. Okay? Now, next we have another wand. We have the Ace of Wands. So you should be appreciative of the fact a new opportunity had, was uh, given to you. And we see this because Wands deal with new beginnings, initiation. And Wands are with action. So something new, either a new job, a new project you're working on, an opportunity where now you actually get to do the thing that you've been waiting to do. And the, the card that that is, you know, synced to that is the Shine card. Whatever it is that you're going to do, you should appreciate the fact that this opportunity is going to lead to you to being noticed. It's going to point you in the right direction. Now we have the Six of Wands. A lot of Wands coming up. So a lot of you have been doing some things. You should be appreciative of, like, the fact that these things you've been doing have actually been working out. We have the Six of Wands, Victory. So you were going through a period of time, perhaps, where, like, you felt everyone was against you. You felt like everything was against you. Especially if you think of the Five of Wands, which comes before this card. There's a lot of conflict. And you had to battle through that conflict to get to where you are. So you should appreciate the fact that, be thankful for the fact that now you, victory is yours. The situation is done. It's over. You are the winner. You came out on top. You didn't really have to sacrifice much. And now you are where you need to be in whatever that situation is. And the card that links to this is now healing can begin. Now that that horrible situation is over with a, a person or people causing a lot of conflict for you, a lot of trouble. Um, now you can, you know, you've won and now you can move on. All right, and the last card in this reading, last set, is the Two of Swords, Balance. And so you should be grateful for the fact that maybe in the past you had a lot going on in your mind and you didn't feel that you were able to do everything. You felt overworked, you felt stressed out, you didn't feel like a peace of mind at all because you just felt that too much of one area of your life was taking over. And so now you should be appreciative of the fact that you probably have a lot more balance now. Something has happened or shifted where you now can appreciate every aspect of your life or you now have more time to do the things that you need to do. And the card that links to that is love of balance. And so for a lot of you, this means that, like I said before, you now get to do what you really want to do. Some of you might be following your passion. Some of you might be, you know, really feeling more, uh, more successful in certain areas of your life. Some of you maybe gave up something that was kind of just not good enough for you. Something that was not good enough for you, something that caused you to feel off balance, something that didn't that wasn't actually leading you to feel that you were very supportive, that you felt very, you know, fulfilled in your life. Okay? All right, so that is it for this reading. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button if anything resonated with you. Thank you.